and even the thumbnail I used for this video in a single prompt. Let's fucking go. A brand new image model has just been released from the same team that originally created and developed Stable Diffusion. This team has raised $31 million uh, dollars in a seed round led by A16Z. The model is called Flux One. I literally just saw this and had to make a video about it because once I saw the output, I was amazed. It beats SDXL, SD3, Midjourney, and DALI on all of these benchmarks. And if you take a look at the actual parameters, the size of this model, SD1.5 was 0. 9 billion parameters sdxl 2.3 sd3 that's is only 5 billion parameters flux one is more than double the size of sd3 with 12 billion parameters so one of the largest models out there by far it's released by black forest labs and that's the x stability team that made the original stable diffusion video diffusion and more apparently it took 1.1 seconds to generate the images in this post which let's go ahead and just jump in there and take a look. So look at that. Check out Flux LinkedIn logo. Really well done. You know, hands are good. Thumb, everything pointing the correct way. Tattoo looks well placed. All of this looks pretty well done. I mean, that's amazing. It's proportional. I don't see any weird morphine with the body, the legs, hair, even, you know, I mean, it looks great. The depth. Look at that depth. Look at that real. Look at that skin texture. Insane. Insane. The reflection. Wow. Passion served daily. This is amazing. I mean, it's so well done. This looks like as if it came off of a Photoshop. It, it does not look like it was generated. I mean, even right now, even on the best text generators, if you go to like Ideogram, there's still like in the text, there's little weird things going on. It doesn't pop like this. It, it kind of blends in to the generation, right? The outline of the text kind of blends in a little bit. This pops as if it was placed onto the image like any good graphic design or, or, or not, I want to say good graphic design, but it, like most graphic design, if you put this in front of somebody, nobody's going to be upset with you. They're going to say, yeah, that's cool. Put it on Instagram, right? For a restaurant, something like that. So that's amazing. Create your reality. You see some morphine here, right? That's some weirdness going on. It's still an image generator. So it's going to get some things wrong. But look at the writing on the pen, how it understands to go underneath the hands. The hands look great. Got a little weirdness with the, that hand. We have six fingers here so this one has some issues but still a solid image i'm sure if you generate three four or five times you would get an output that would probably not have these hallucinations and would actually output some really quality stuff flux beats sd3 solid image that's some good foodie stuff put that on instagram all day okay this is your typical stable diffusion type of generation and the thing that I've seen with a lot of these stable diffusion competitors is that they get some things really, really well, but what they don't get is creativity. What stable diffusion was pretty well known for and why it competed so well with the closed source models was because it could do a lot of creative things like this. So this screams like stable diffusion to me, but just so much better. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the reflection. Look at the reflection. See the light bouncing off of that, the shading, and how, how that shade goes through that reflection, changes the appearance of that reflection. This is phenomenal. I'm speechless right now, guys. This is insane. This is insane. Absolutely insane. It's the little things in generative models that really stand out because it's the little things that are hard to do. The, the images that there are millions of that's why the portrait images okay yeah like any model nowadays can make a really great realistic portrait image but these type of small little differences in these images this is this shows understanding true fitting of the data to the output uh the team kudos to the team for getting this this is crazy crazy all right let's see the next one I feel <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, 
It took, I mean, it just read my mind. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the mouth looks good, the nose, the eyes. Look at the paws. Look at that hair. If I can run this locally, I, I will be canceling my Mid Journey subscription. There's no need. There's absolutely no need for Mid Journey if I can get this level of output. Oh my God. And it also does dramatic still frames, cinematic still frames. This is amazing. Look at that color. Look at the steam around the spaceship. Yeah, this is something phenomenal. A house made of fries makes me hungry. Coherence. Look at that. Look at that. Hands, 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 hands. Some beautiful ladies up on the background. No weird morphing of the people of the background either. Look at the people. They're not really like blending in together. Each of these faces look pretty different as well. A lot of open source models, the faces that they generate, they'll almost look identical, especially when you're talking about SD 1.5, but not so much in three. Three does a pretty good job with faces, but that's about it. <laughs> three kind of sucks at everything else. But yeah, this this looks pretty good. Better than stable diffusion. Yeah, I'd have to I'd have to say so. Yep. Yep, yep. Very good generation. Bokeh effect, the lights, reflection. This is beautiful. The reflection on the glass, the skin. This still looks pretty generated just because of the skin kind of looks a bit rubbery or something very AI about it. Um, but that could probably be fixed with some prompting. Very good. Very good. So let's go ahead and jump in. This is the first time I've tested. I haven't tested this before doing this live with you guys right now. Let's do something interesting. Cinematic still frame from 1980s movie called Hollywood. And two characters, a man and a woman are walking. Also, if it's trained off of 12 billion parameters, it should handle these long form kind of prompts very well you probably can just prompt it with natural language what you want and it's probably going to get it we'll see but that's my guess a man and a woman are walking up to a movie theater the movie theater sign is to the left of them up ahead and it reads life is here don't know what any of that means don't read into that i mean i just threw this out there yeah let's do a 16 by 9 and this is cool look at the output format this is really dope that it allows you to choose your output so for developers this is going to be amazing i don't see any negative prompt that's interesting maybe it's so good that it doesn't need a negative prompt but you know that just adds a certain level of control to it that i really like to see but let's run it see how long this takes the guy said 1.1.5 seconds oh my god wow yeah, guys, guys, we're seeing we're we're seeing the birth of something truly spectacular here. I'm 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 honestly at a loss for words. Yeah, sure. Okay, look, is is that a little weird? It, does it? Yes. Cool. Whatever. That can easily be fixed. I I bet you if I do run this again, it's it's going to be fine. Or I'll get a generation trying a couple times, and it'll be right. But look at the prompt coherence here. Cinematic still frame from 1980s movie. Look at the vibe. Look at the vibe of this. Look at look at the coloring. Look at the, the the clothes that they're wearing. That movie theater. That is a vintage 1980s movie theater. If I've ever seen one. Two characters, a man and a woman, are walking up to a movie theater. The movie theater sign is to the left of them, up ahead. Bam, left of them, up ahead, and it reads, "Life is here." This is the most coherent model I have ever seen. Now, this is a limited, limited run, one prompt, but oh my God, Google Chrome, open that up. That and the quality of this output. I mean, God, that's so good. This, I mean, look, look at this guys. Do you see this? There's no warping when you go in. There's no weirdness. Look at these lines. Look at that car in the background. Look at the wheels perfectly like all of them they they don't blend in together they don't do any weird craziness going on it fully understands look at this sign guys guys we are seeing something very different here very different i'm gonna take that same prompt and i just want to see what mid journey is going to do but while it's doing that i also want to prompt let's see let's see what it does with more artistic kind of mid-journey-esque prompt 
and just see how it runs, how it does this. Okay, so it's cool. And I, I honestly, if we look at this artistic expression of a figure in a hoodie, it's a music video, a varnish, right? Texture, interpretation, impressionism, raster, time lapse, maybe. You see some like vibration. So maybe that came from a time lapse type of thing. Honestly, this is just from this type of prompt that I, is something that I give specifically to Mid Journey because Mid Journey does some really unique stuff when you give it just a bunch of different descriptors. That's one thing I do like about Mid Journey is that you can give it a bunch of dis different descriptors of like different art styles, different things, and it's going to create something really unique and really cool that maybe you're you know you're not even trying to do. You're just trying to get some interesting output that you you can work with and do cool things with so this doesn't exactly do that it, it really is about following the prompt to a t it's that's what it's designed to do which i i'm all for that that's cool but now just from this kind of side by side we can see the differences mid journey is still that artistic type of kind of lotto machine you put stuff in there you don't know what you're going to get but it could be very artistic and, and take some liberties so i do like that let's see what mid journey does with a very specific prompt all right so we'll give it that same prompt see hollywood see it, it doesn't hollywood life here hollywood lists here hollywood is here that was not the prompt hollywood was the name of the movie you see this is this is the difference i will say mid journey does a much better job at capturing the 1980s feel in in the like if we actually open this up let's go take a look at this one the car is a 1980s more vintage type of feel the the clothes are definitely more 1980s the hair is definitely more 1980s maybe even slightly 1970s probably slightly yeah this all feels much more 1970s than 1980s but still i think it's much more in that style so it, it does style better off of this one prompt, but text, text coherence, prompt coherence. Okay. An otherworldly landscape. Let's do something really basic and let's just see what it does where there's not too many things in the prompt for it to glean information off of. So we can see how it does with more of an open-ended prompt and see how it runs with this. So we'll run this and one second outputs guys, that is something crazy. All right. It's a pretty generic it's not taking too many liberties which for this specific model i think i i understand so this model very 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 good job you're not going to get super creative output but you will get coherent output and it, i'm sure you can get very creative output if you're creative so we'll try the same prompt but let's say retro wave outlines of the mountain side Plink. mist Floating in the distance, a creature with green skin and red insect eyes stares off into the bi solar skyline as the orange and red suns are setting. All right, let's see how it does. I mean, it didn't get the bi solar, but holy crap, guys. This is so cool. This is so good. Look at this. The I mean, like, I'm going to run it one more time to see if we can get the two suns. Let's see. So cool. There's the two suns. Look at that creature. This is insane. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at this freaking thing, guys. Look at this generation. Look at this generation. Look at those eyes. Look at the horns. Look at the, look at the skin. Look at, I mean, put this into an upscaler come on what are you saying this is next level all right that's gonna be I, i'm gonna keep messing with this this is this is amazing so thank you guys for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it i definitely had fun digging in i'll leave the links below so you can go mess with this model yourself i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the the video have a great day and we will see you next time thank you guys bye